In this section, we're going to be looking at the fundamental principle of counting. Okay, if several op operations are performed, the number of ways to perform all operations is found by multiplying the number of ways to perform each one together. Um, so it's a pretty simple. So an ice cream shop offers one, two, or three scoops of ice cream, has eight different flavors, and then they can serve it in a cup, wafer cone, or a chocolate cone. How many number of possible choices do we have? So the total possible. We want to know how many combinations we can get, right? Well, one, two, or three. So there's three ways we could get the scoops. Times eight different flavors and three different ways it could be served. We're just going to multiply that all together. Three times eight times three, and that's 72 possibilities, possible choices. This is how on those ads they say you could have your pizza, blah, 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 number of ways. Ah, there we go. Now what about James needs a four-digit password for his computer. The password can contain any number. No repeating. How many possible? No repeating. That's important. How many possible um, passwords can he have? So we've got the first digit, the second digit, third, and fourth. Okay, so four digits. For the first one, we've got all the numbers from zero to nine. That's ten digits. Now on the second one, they said no repeating. So if something was used on the first one, we can't use it on the second one. So that means there's nine there. Then there'd be eight, and then there'd be seven. So, 10 times nine times, whoops, times nine times, I can't do it, times nine times eight times seven. And that's 5,040. Now, this leads us into what are called permutations. Permutations are when we're um, choosing a certain number of items from a total number of possible items. Um, and in permutations, the, the order that they're selected is, is important. And we've got a formula here. And I just want to kind of talk about the formula for a second. Um, in factorial. So I want to talk about what that factorial is. Let, let's, let's say I wanted to do 7 factorial. What that means is that I would take 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Do you see why factorial would come in play with what we're doing after looking at that problem? Let's look at this example. A business owner has a choice of five locations to open a new business. The business owner decided to rank each location. How many different ways can the five locations be ranked? So we've got first, you know, second, third, fourth, and fifth. To be ranked first, he has five to choose from. Second place, there's now four to choose from. Third place, there's three to choose from. Two, and that leaves only one place for last. Ha <laughs> ha, factorial, yes. Five times four times three times two times one. Five times four times three times two times one. That's 120 different ways. Now, what if the business owner only wants to rank the top three of those five? So, how many different ways can they, they be ranked? So, let's look at this formula, and we're going to do this one with the formula, and then I'm also going to show you how you can do it with the calculator. Okay, so this is five locations, and we're going to pick three. 
So this formula says we're going to take 5 factorial over 5 minus how many we're picking factorial. So 5 factorial would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 5 minus 3 would be 2. And 2 factorial would just be 2 times 1. Now look at what would happen there. The 2's would cancel and the 1's would cancel. So I'd only be looking at 5 times 4 times 3. Does that make sense on just ranking the top 3? First place, second place, third place. First place, second place, third place. So we're only ranking the top 3. 5 times 4 times 3. That's 60 ways. Now I promised I'd show you how to do that in the calculator, and I will. So this is um, going to be under math. And we're dealing with probability. So let me make a note. We're going to math. And if you arrow over to PRB, Look at the second option. Oh, by the way, look at number four. That's a factorial. The second option has NPR. NPR. Oh, it said answer first. So I needed to start with what I'm picking from. So the N has to go first. P and then 3. So 5 pick 3. And it gives me the 60. So you can either use the formula, you can kind of use common sense, or you can do the calculator. So let's look at the next one. If 14 art projects are submitted to an art show, how many different ways can the judges award a first and second place? So this is 14 pick 2. Now, I, you can use the calculator, but this one's kind of easy because you're only picking 2. This is really just 14 times 13. Because you're not going further than that. That's just 14 times 13. That's 182. And I'll prove it by let's do it in the calculator. 14 pick 2. Three news stories are used throughout a broadcast. One to open, one in the middle, and one to close. If there are eight stories to choose from, and note that it, the order will matter here, how many ways can the broadcast be set up? So we've got eight stories, and we're picking three. Now we can use the formula, or these tend to not be too hard to do by hand because you'd start off with eight to choose from, then seven, then six. But I'll do it with the calculator too. Eight, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Eight, pick three. That's 336. Let's see, eight times seven times six, 336. Now, what if the order didn't matter? Like all of these, they're, they're first place, second place, um, the news stories had to be lining up in a certain order. But when order doesn't matter, we can't really do it by hand. Um, the formula gets a little bit trickier. And I can show kind of how it would work with the formula but the calculator is a much easier option when order does not matter. So a seamstress must choose two colors for a dress and she has five to choose from. So we have five and we're choosing two. So if I'm doing this with the formula, I'd have five factorial over five minus two factorial and then it says R factorial so I'd also have 
2 factorial down there as well. So that would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 5 minus 2 would be 3, so 3 times 2 times 1. But I'd also have 2 factorial. This could get very complicated. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 was 120. In the bottom, I've got 3 times 2 times 2. 3 times 2 times 2. Oh, that's 12. On this one, I get a 10. Let me show you how I could do this one in the calculator. 5 choose. We're choosing 2. Gives me 10. If you had a lot more to pick, choose from, this formula would get a little bit hairy. So calculator tends to be a little bit easier on these. Let's say we have eight movie reviews and they only want to pu publish three. Notice it doesn't say that the order matters at all. So that's eight, choose three. I'm just going to use the calculator. Eight, go to probability, choose three. That's 56. Now you're welcome to use the formula if you kind of find the factorials fun. Um, a drama club has seven girls and five boys. A committee of three girls and two boys need to be chosen. Now this one gets a little bit more complicated. How many different possibilities are there? Ooh, so we've got seven girls and we need to choose three times five boys choose two. I would definitely use the calculator for this one because that would get hairy. So seven choose three times, well, I, I probably need to do these separate. So seven choose three. And I think if you have a newer calculator, it does this a little bit nicer. Um, I've got an old calculator. Five choose two. So this is 350 possibilities. And that is it for probability.